How to Animate Titles in Premiere Pro In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create and animate titles. And an alternative way to create such animated titles for your video. First, let's create a sequence. In the project window, right click. New item. Sequence. For standard horizontal video, you can choose a template from the presets. I mostly use 1080p at 16x9 and 24fps. Now select the tool. Type tool and click in the place where you want to create the text. Now I click on an empty space to deselect this layer. The second line with the text, I will create a separate layer. In the future, it will thus be easier to apply different effects to each of the stitches. Now, for convenience, I will place them in the same sequences on the monitor. Go to the Effect Controls panel. Open the Text tab. And the video has a lot of settings. In this column, select the font that suits you. For this, the text must be selected. In this column, you can change the distance between the letters. Here we can choose the color that suits us. Let's leave this line in white. Here you can immediately change the position of the text. But I advise you to use the settings in the motion section for this. Use these tools to correctly position a text in the frame. Safe margins. Show rulers. Show guides. Thus, you can build lines along which it is easy to navigate and accurately position the text. Now let's select the second line. Let's apply the font as in the first line. And let's make it red. We have created static titles. Now let's animate them. In the effect controls window, find the motion tab. And move the cursor to the timeline. By clicking on the clock, we create the first keyframe. This means that we have fixed this position of the text during this period of time. Now let's go to the very beginning of the layer. And we will change the position of the text so that it would be behind the scenes. And we got a keyframe. Now let's play this section. And let's see how it works. We see how the text slides out and gets into the position that we fixed it first but the dynamics are linear and it doesn't look natural. By clicking this arrow, 
we see what kind of dynamics the animation has, she has the same speed throughout the entire movement. On the first keyframe, right click. Easy out. And at the second point we choose easy in. Now you can see how the dynamics have changed. More fine tuning can be done using these blue dots. Thus, the text appears quickly and the movement is smooth at the end. By moving the keys, we change can make the animation longer or shorter. This animation suits us. Go to the Effects tab. Gaussian Blur. Set the point at the level of the end of the text animation. An important point. In this section, we need to select the horizontal blur. Since our text only moves along a horizontal path. This will look more natural. And create the first point together where the animation begins. And set the blur value. And we get this effect. If you choose a different type of blur, it will look very different. But notice that at the end of the animation, where there is a smooth slowdown, the text is still very blurry. It has a linear dynamics. We change it in the same way as we did in the animation. Our task is to set the effect similar to our animation. It looks great now. Now let's tackle the second line. After the top text appears, create a keyframe. And remove the text for the frame. Next, create a second point where the text will already be in place. Changing the animation dynamics. Easy out. Easy in. But because of the long insistence, it looks very protracted. Configuring manually. It looks much better that way. Gaussian Blur We do the same manipulations as with the top line We make the effect of the dynamics as in animation In this case, it will all match and look good. 
Great, we created animated titles. Now select these two layers and right click. Nest. It is now a single title layer that can be manipulated. Let's finish our titles by smooth dissolution. To do this, at the end, you need to create two keys. This animation can also be customized to your liking. Now let's place these titles on the video. In Easy Edit Plugin, Assets tab. Link to the plugin in the video description. There is a large selection of GIFs, images, videos. Let's use the search and find a video on the topic of travel. Here it is convenient to view and select a suitable video without leaving Premiere Pro. And add it to the timeline with one click. Import. And since our titles are in one layer, we can position them anywhere on the frame. Now I will show you how, using the Easy Edit plugin, in a matter of minutes, you can create full-fledged videos with beautiful, animated graphics. To begin with, let's select a few videos from the travel section. Now I will shorten them and collect them sequentially into one video. In the meantime, you can like and subscribe to our channel not to miss new tutorials. Once you've edited the video and it remains to add graphics, we have two options. First, create by hand as we learned in the first part of the video. Second, take advantage of the Titles Pro graphics set from Easy Edit Studio. Using such sets will significantly improve the quality of your video and reduce the time for creating titles. In this set, more than 300 ready-made templates, divided into 9 groups. First, I'll place the template on two lines. In the Essential Graphics window, there are settings for it. Let's change the text. There are a huge number of settings with which we can adjust everything to our taste. You can change the size, length and position of each strip and point.
Great, there are first credits, then you can use such a template against the background of the globe. And so on, choose any template that suits you. Customize it to fit your requirements. And it takes very little time. You can find the link to Easy Edit Viewer in the Titles Pro animation set under the video. Subscribe to our channel and see you soon.